an element made up of the smallest atoms on Earth. An element that accounts for 75% of the mass of the universe. A powerful source of alternative energy that has attracted global attention. This is the story of hydrogen. Earth is sending us one final warning. We have started working towards carbon neutrality before it's too late. At the center of this discussion is hydrogen energy. Hydrogen is used as a source of energy in many fields because it does not produce any polluting emissions and there is no concern about resource depletion. 어, 수소를 우리가 지금 사용하고 있는 여러 가지 화학 원료로 저 대다수 전환이 될수 있는 그런 장점도 갖고 있습니다. 그래서 미래 에너지와 또는 미래 산업의 어, 원료로서 사용될 수 있는 가장 중요한 물질이라고 얘기할 수 있겠습니다. In January 2019, the Korean government announced the roadmap to vitalize the hydrogen economy. Korea plans to produce 6.2 million hydrogen vehicles and increase the number of hydrogen stations to 1,200 by 2040. Korea has also enacted the world's first hydrogen law to lead the way in transitioning to a hydrogen economy. The transition from a carbon-based economy to a hydrogen-based economy is a key to achieving carbon neutrality. After announcing the hydrogen economy roadmap in January 2019, Korea enacted and implemented the Hydrogen Act, the world's first law of this kind, which centers on the development of an ecosystem for a hydrogen economy and expansion of public access to hydrogen energy. Korea also prepared detailed plans to promote related R&D and infrastructure, including the production of hydrogen vehicles and fuel stations, and to enhance safety standards related to the use of hydrogen. By doing so, Korea has laid a solid foundation to usher in the hydrogen economy. Korea is a global champion of hydrogen fuel cell technology. At the motor studio of an automobile company in Goyang, Gyeonggi-do, the world's first mass-produced second-generation fuel cell electric vehicle is on display. The vehicle was a worldwide sensation. 연료전지 스택에서 발생한 전기가 모터를 구동한다는 특징을 가지고 있습니다. The best feature of this vehicle is that it emits no exhaust gas at all. Once fueled with hydrogen, it can travel up to 600 kilometers and actually create enough clean air for 40 adults to breathe in just one hour of driving. A nation with the world's number one market share with various hydrogen mobility, Korea's hydrogen economy is growing rapidly. In order to utilize hydrogen, hydrogen must be produced first. The Korean government has announced a plan to become a nation that produces hydrogen, particularly green hydrogen, based on renewable energy by 2030. On the beautiful and windy Jeju Island, there are many large wind power generators. This island dreams of becoming carbon free Renewable energy accounts for 16% of the total electricity generated on the island. However, at times, no matter how strongly the wind blows, the wind turbines don't move. Electricity production fluctuates due to inconsistent wind conditions, resulting in some energy being wasted, which is known as dump energy. The solution to dump energy is hydrogen. P2G systems produce and store hydrogen by electrolyzing water with electricity obtained from solar or wind power sources. Thus, the dump energy generated by wind power sources can be converted into hydrogen and stored. Then the hydrogen can be used to generate electricity when needed. This technology has made it possible to overcome the intermittency problem of renewable energy. 전 세계적인 그 탄소 중립 정책에 의해서 
어, 거기에 발맞춰서 경부에 여러 가지 노력들이 있는데 거기에 발맞춰서 지플러스의 기술력을 통해서 그린 수소를 좀더 많은 어, 시장에 확대하고자 하는 목표를 가지고 있습니다. It is only the beginning of the era of hydrogen. To become a nation leading the use of hydrogen, Korea will accelerate the production of green hydrogen linked to renewable energy and actively expand its use in everyday life through world-class technology. In addition, Korea will lead the global clean hydrogen economy by promoting the Clean Hydrogen Initiative led by Korea. Korea, a nation that has become a global leader in hydrogen mobility and fuel cell development, element symbol H. With this element of infinite potential, Korea will take the lead in eliminating carbon footprints.